I figure, you know, people don't know what they're doing, right? They go on this treadmill and they run. It's like, you're working stupid, man. You gotta work smart. I just put on the rollerblades and stand here and I go the same distance. So when people are like, I was on my treadmill for 10 miles, I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> but they're so dumb. See? Look at that. Just gotta stand here. Now it's just dead. One, two, three, four, five. And now I hear nothing. Bummer. Oh boy. No beeps anymore. Beeps are gone. You think we shorted something? Like why is it no longer beeping? Uh-oh. Imagine if your forefathers I heard about this, about people that couldn't start a charcoal grill because their Bluetooth wasn't working right because they shorted out their electrical system for their charcoal grill. You know what would have happened? America would have just been fought over a little bit harder. This is working, so I'm gonna leave it closed now that I believe in you. Thank you. It's working? Yeah, I can tell the smoke yeah. is coming out there. It's getting smokier. Yeah. I wish I had like, oh, you know what I could use though? I wish I could get the fresh air. Have you ever seen anything like this before? You might have if you've lived in Poland or Yugoslavia or Czechoslovakia. You see, this is what we call modern Soviet art. This is the kind of art that defies function for the sake of form, but relies on the concept of ingenuity, practicality, and efficiency of consumerism. Yet, as you can see, your tap runs dry. I just love it, really. Because the joke is, you can't pour bottles out of a tap. That'd be crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a steak um, the way I would make a steak, which doesn't include a blender. The way I do it requires dulce, which is a kind of seaweed for your sodium. Um, although I also use a bit of Himalayan rock salt from, uh, you know. And then this is the part that's the most outrageous is because it's an aged steak. You don't need a lot, but I've decided to include some rosemary for old time's sake, as well as green cardamom. I was 
prefer to use black cardamom for meats, but for some reason I think this particular steak, because of the way that it's uh, aged, it has a really, it has a fine, uh, strong aroma that it would be good with a little bit, not too much, of green cardamom and dulce. And then some hand crushed black pepper corns, and I like Anthony's uh, coriander seeds, because, you know, why not? All right, so first thing I'll do, I'll take the avocado oil. For whatever reason, Ian called it olive oil, it's avocado. What the heck? It's like stuck. Yeah. I'm gonna hand break the cardamom to pour out the cardamom into the, uh, the mixture that we've got here. And then that allows it to go. <laughs> Open it up. Yeah, that's right. All right, you saw that. Okay. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this oil onto this steak and rub it. Make sure your hands are clean before you do anything like that. Of course, take some of this, rub it into the top there and onto the sides and then flip it, do the same. Rub it into the top there and then we'll do a couple more hand breakings. There you go. Rub it into the side, okay. Gently onto the meat. Basically the idea is to get some of the sodium to start to seal the meat and then you get the oil to hold the flavors which are going to be cooked into the meat. And then, okay, that should be good right there. I'll seal it and I'll seal it in butter. And so I'll fry it in butter and then from there it'll be probably the perfect steak, probably the best steak you've ever seen. So I can't quite get the temperature below 400 degrees we want it to be below 300 degrees. So we're gonna just take apart the grill apparently. And then after that, I'll put it back together while it's white hot. We're hunting cicadas to feed the chickens. There's a lot everywhere. Now this won't kill them, but it'll take them out of the air. If I, if I can actually get them. So as you know, in all FPSs, you have to go like this with your gun as you walk. That's how it works. I don't know if I'm gonna have the skills to actually get one of these guys. Mad fast. I know. There's some dead ones on the ground already. That's the harvest. You gotta get them and you gotta get them close. Washington used to hang out here with his girlfriend. Like 